All right, and continue our game. We are subjugating um, Greater Poland. It's clearly not so great. We're going to be in charge of it. Um, we are still High Chief, the Whisperer. This is going to lead to us becoming a king. Okay, let's just head to his capital, I suppose, since they were trying to siege our capital down, but we can't have that. <gasps> Diviner! Oh, finally! Burst into your tent! My tent? Right, because I'm leading troops. Yeah. <laughs> My tent! Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this man consorts with the cold ones! <gasps> My vassal. He hates me. Yeah, he's got plenty of bad traits for that to be quite true. Uh, he's not killed anyone yet, though, surprisingly enough. At least not that we know of. Uh, yes, burn the apostate! <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, some guy who already likes us because we subjugated him. Uh, it's just blah blah whatever. Yeah, we become friends because we were just part of the same society. So he's like, yeah, oh, duel for blood. Ah, good. This guy, King Order of Vestrogothia was slowly flayed to death on the order of King Order. Oh dear. So yeah, we'll uh, end his miserable life. So let's try and siege this down and conquer this guy. Uh, possessed guy is called physician. I don't know about that. Cruel as well, deceitful, envious. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Can we invite anyone? Oops, I didn't want to unlock that. Hey. Can we invite anyone who is... Uh, aha! An erudite... Proud, charitable guy who's 28, so who you'll be around for a while. This guy's just, he's 32. It's just, uh, whatever. He's Russian, he's Volhynian. Just trusting, patient. He's, he's not got enough, uh... Actually, yeah, this guy's only got 14. Whatever. This guy kind of dislikes us, and I don't know, he's the wrong religion. So we're inviting this guy, Lev. Um... All right, court physician. Yeah, he hates us because we're merciless. Whatever. Give <laughs> me my court physician. And uh, I don't want him sieging that. I know I've almost sieged that down. I just don't want to risk letting him siege my capital down. I cannot tolerate that. This guy is amazing. He's a hunter. He's patient. He's brave. That will add his uh, add to his. Stats. He's already reading troops though. This guy, he's a holy warrior. You can go on the left there. I can go in the middle there. Because I get huge bonuses because of the, I'm a direct leader. Do I have any swords and stuff? No, I don't. I did create some armor, but we're kind of broke. Let's try and invite just anyone with a bit of money again. Let's go th through the list. Just spot anyone who is four golds, not worth 41 gold. He's got a kid though, so we're going to have to uh, spy on him, whatever. Two, two, one, one, two. He's all getting tiny amounts of uh, salary for whatever they're employed for. Fifteen. <laughs> it's just... I mean, fifteen will do. If he dies, we'll get fifteen. It's not massive. It's not a massive amount, but it's better than nothing. So, wow, these guys all broke. It's disappointing. Ah. Uh. Whatever. Let's just beat these guys up. How dare you. Uh, a daughter. How many daughters do I have? Um, a ton of this. We're getting, getting kind of lucky. We've got one son and three daughters. We've got Diana, Francesca. Okay, what are we going to call her? I don't even know. It's any random name. <laughs> Yuki. There you go. Is, is that a name? Yuki Yamazaki? Yes. It is. All right. uh, uh, we can lift a random boulder on the battlefield, so... Yes. Wait, I didn't think you could get this. We're brawny and strong. Wow. That, that's kind of awesome. So we get plus one health there. We're going to live a little longer. 
Now that's one thing about having a martial education, you get plus 0.5 health out of it, but this obviously we don't. Although we get a ton of personal combat skills still. Hmm. Um, yes. Come along with your 15 gold. You as well with your 41 gold. Let's see if there's any amazing commanders that are willing to join. A dual, a trickster? No. Experimentality. So that can go plus 30% bonuses to your troops or minus 30%. It's just terrible. There's no point. Um, brave, duelist. Oh, this guy, and he kind of likes us as well. So, uh, how long you come? Why do you like us? Renowned duelist. Right, because he's a duelist, and we, we're, we're pretty good at dueling, as we've uh, kind of shown. We, uh, yeah. So was that our first kind of la landed person kill? No, we killed this guy right at the beginning. How did we kill him? We slayed him in first one combat. That's fine. Oh, we found a sword on the battlefield. And we'll just kill someone off with it, sure. So, leading the center, plus 15. Nice, it's quality 3. Which means, uh... Oh, we captured some random guy in the battle as well. Yep, he's gonna get sacrificed. Wonderful. Let's try and siege his capital down without them constantly running onto our capital. Really annoying. Come on, let's do this. Someone's got flu. Oh, my wife. Well, good luck. We can spend uh, tech points. Yes, legalism. I think I'll do that. Gonna do that in a bit when we need to. Can we? Can you not? Okay, they're locked in movement. Let's just cut them off. Just stop. Aha! Uh -huh. I feel the power of the eternal thunder flowing through my veins as I snarl at the enemy commander, visibly startling him. Surrender, he shouts. I am Bratislav, and the man's word that could short by my weapon piercing through his throat. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Rest now, brother. We can become kind out of this. Do we want to become kind? It will lose combat skills out of it, because, you know, being kind is bad. But people will like us more. We can do more intriguey stuff, like... Killing people? Hang on. We're trying to kill someone. <laughs> oh no, we're trying to revoke something. Right, we're going to do that after the war, probably. Sandomires, which is this county here. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Or we can just kill him. Or we can kill him and become kind. Either way, he dies. <laughs> so it's like... Just now, brother. Um... Sure, why not? We'll, we'll just become kind. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha, I will mount your head on my town walls. So that is a good option. But no, let's just become kind. Why not? We've got tons of personal combat skills. It's not going to make much of a difference. Um, come on, can we please see just place down now? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he because he holds all of his holdings, he's getting ticking war score, which is counting upwards. You can see it's now 10% and so on. He'll lose that once we uh, siege this down. And we might get lucky and capture someone. Yes, we did. Who's that? His concubine? Whatever. Oh, we got his wife as well and like half his children. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, now we're going to try and beat him up again. Uh, we catch another person, another person, another person. Ah, excellent. We're really making some progress here. We're at 31 kills now. Well, that's still a little low. We need to reform the faith. We need to have more reach in who we can loot and stuff. Um, Spymaster claims he lacks sufficient funds to find a an artifact. 30 gold. Uh, I, I can't afford that right now. Nope. I need the money to be able to create the uh, kingdom. I can create it now, actually. It's only 132 gold, actually. I'm going to do that after I conquer this. Well, actually, I could I could do it now. 
No, but then I will, because I'd be king, I wouldn't rip away his uh, duchy titles. I wanna, I wanna complete this war first because I'm still equal rank to him, really. I'm subjugating him. If I was king, he'd just keep all his titles, I believe. Can you stop on sieging this? Oh, this this guy's my rival. He was in hiding. Okay, we can now strike. I don't need to strike. I, just, I can just request a duel, and that's when I'll strike. Oh, please! Let's just can we find a really low holding that can just assault siege with a minimal amount of troops in it. Yeah, whatever. We'll just siege this down. Let's do this. And then we will be king! King, um... 47. Of Poland. Maybe we can rename Poland. Rename it to ICA or something. <laughs> king of ICA. There we go, we're now this horrible pink color. Like, well, we, are, we were already, but now it's everywhere. Krakow. Of course, I could rename it to Krakow. Um... I, mean, I could potentially also create a custom kingdom, although no, our realm size is not large enough. I uh, know we need more money, that's right. Because we've got... We've, it's either a certain amount of uh, holdings that you need to create a custom kingdom, which just creates a random kingdom. Uh, it will try to add as many complete de jour holdings that you have under you. In my case, it will be pretty much all of them. I hold the duchy title for every single one of them, even if I don't hold all the land. I do hold all the, all the land. Uh, if I click this button, I'd create a kingdom called Krakow, based on my capital duchy, my main primary title, High Chiefdom of Krakow. Um, we're not going to do that. We can just create Poland. And I think we'll do that now. Yeah. Yeah, why not? It cost a bit of pie to. Yeah, we've got plenty of pie to now. We've got 780. We'll spend a bit of it now, though. But, uh... Okay, if we let the... Yeah, game... Take, us, uh, take a little time to, uh... Recolor us and rename us. We have... King47, the Whisperer of Poland. But now... Put these down. Now, because I'm king though, people won't like that I hold so many duchy titles. When you're actually a duke, you can hold as many duchy titles as you want. But now, my vassals are going to be like, Ah, oh, you hold too many duchies. Minus 30. So, we're going to just have a look around. Let's go into vassal map mode. Poland, that's me. That's all the land I personally hold. I am Poland. Um, and we want to hold Krakow. This is going to be our personal holdings, but uh, do I need a second duchy? I mean, I can hold nine. Ten? Nine out of ten? It says nine out of nine there. That's just paradox maths going on there. Okay. Um, Mazovia? Pretty sure I think I decided on Masovia or Masovia or whatever. Because there's several holdings that have there. Plus four sub holdings. Plus four, three there. There's only one here, but yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Currently there's no person here except for this guy who hates us. Too many duchies, defeated me, declared war, usurped title, imprisoned, in prison, <laughs> title claimant, desires the county, is ambitious, he's, and we're merciless. This guy really does not like us. He's like, oh, this guy's brawny. Mm, plus five. <laughs> okay. Are we going to have to set some uh, other rules, though? Are we really going to have kids in our dungeon adding to our kill count? Is that going against our principles? Oh well, actually no way. Hang on, look, look at this here. Died in the dungeons. 
at age three. Oh dear. Well, it's too late now to change our policy. I'm sorry. It's going to be the ruthless, merciless policy of everyone dies in our dungeon. Um, yeah. We're not going to employ any kind of like agency rules and moral restrictions. <laughs> it's probably why he's depressed. He kind of can't believe what he's doing. Um, so now we can spend tech points. I'm going to do this legalism. I'm going to up that. Which means now tech is actually based per county. You can see that I've, I've just clicked this button here to increase the legalism in Krakow. Everything else around us though is still terrible. So if I move my capital, I'd, I'd lose the the benefits of legalism one. But here, legalism is equal or greater, greater or equal than to one. Council does not have any power. I can just past this right now because uh, we're we're a tribal guy we're, we're in charge of course that changes though if you increase tribal organization that's like your path to feudalism you have to get to max and then you can feudalize and then the council is well really annoying and very powerful then you do embark on a journey to remove their power now here this we we are claiming we have a can, uh, can chancellor, <laughs> count not councillor, uh, fabricating a claim on Rügen because that is our one of our holy sites. Now let's have a look here. I could just warm my uh, no. I've got a truce with him. For another seven years? Oh. I'm pretty sure I've got one more subjugation. Oh no. I should have used that to begin with. Damn it. Because you can use your one subjugation that you get, one free per lifetime, for being, uh, well, pagan. And, uh, but then the second you choose the ambition of king, become king of Poland, you can still. You get more subjugation. There you go. I'll just fulfill that. We are now king of Poland. Ugh. Let's just get more power to be honest. Sandemir is. Alright, kid. We've got this plot going to revoke your title. Because it's in my du jour capital duchy. The war it is! He says no. And war it is. Oh, he holds multiple titles. Oh, right. Well. Unfortunately for him, we just passed a law that will allow us to revoke stuff, even without plots. And since he's rebelled against us, we had a sort of legitimate plot going, in a way, to revoke this title. And he said no, which means that's a rebellious act. That's uh, That gives us reason to imprison him. Alright, let's get over here and try and catch these things. There you go. Eat them up. Zero troops, we killed all of them. <laughs> Bit of salt to each that. Spymaster has experienced a setback. Whatever, this spymaster is useless. We're gonna ignore his, his failure. He's kind of terrible. He, if I replace him now, that event ends though. He, it's like, uh, well, the spymaster. Oh no, then I have to probably send someone else to search for an artifact. You get these, like, spe whenever you get that event just saying, oh, one of your councils can find an artifact, you get these, um... There, there it is. End search for artifact. I don't really pay much attention to it. It's like, bleh, it just happens. It takes a long time, and it's just like a background kind of thing. Alright. The little kid lost the war. Big surprise. We have revoked the title of Sandemir's, which he was... Uh, which he had. We... Mm, yeah, and now he... Because... He revolted... We have a reason to imprison the kid. How dare you. you can imprison him. And, uh... Yeah. Since he is a traitor, I've asked him to not object to revoking his title. There you go, let's do that. Do I get another one? No. Damn it. Okay, I can release him. Do you, have, do you have money? 
Can you afford? No, you can't. You can't afford your own ransom. I'm just going to release him for some opinion. Let's see if we can immediately start another plot against him. Oh, it's no, we have a truce with him. Is this the same guy? What's your name? Troyden. Troyden? That's you, yeah. Does not have a truce. Right, we've got a truce with this guy now. Whee. <laughs> we could get rid of that truce by just getting rid of him. And I'm his heir anyway. Yes, do it. Uh, my steward has raised some warriors. Okay. That's useful. I'm over my domain limit, which now correctly displays 10. Right. I can give something away. Let's give something away. Let's create a loyal vassal. This guy is a loyal... No, he's not. Is he? He likes me by 47. Opinion of 47. 47. Ah, very nice. He's Polish. He's Slavic. This guy hates our guts. So, And I own one extra county here, which is part of this duchy. So, I believe this kid, because he likes us by 47, that's a very wise choice of his, he will be the High Chief of Celestia. There you go, we created a pretty loyal vassal for now. We handed away one of our duchy titles, so our vassals will hate us less now. That kid will obviously hate us, because we just tried to... Well, we did just imprison him. Um... I want to keep hold of these counties. I don't want to give them away yet. I just want to keep keep this power. 5,000 troops personally. Alright. So this Kiev is our holy site. Can we war our way through the here? What about you, kid? Just this one county here. Can we... A border dispute wars. You can just spend prestige to conquer any neighboring county, but your vassals will hate you because it's an unjust war. The opinion of all landed characters of your religious group in your realm and the realm of High Chief Ruslan changes from minus 15 for 10 years, declared unjust war. Uh, whatever. I'll just do it. Uh, start conquering my way through here. Oops. We're gonna probably lose these guys. Let's put these down. They're getting free kills. I'm not tolerating that. Ah, sacrifice, yes. There's just those, <laughs> those troops now. Let's siege this guy down. Oh, good news, my co-conspirator, Chief. That guy has let me know that Count Trojan of that place will soon have a tragic fall of the castle parapets. Fly, little bird, fly. Chicken flinch, I think. Whatever the response is. Yeah! <laughs> Success, it seems little Count Trojan of... Jessica has not yet learned how to fly. He died a quick and presumably painless death. Chicken for lunch today, I think. <laughs> yep. Kids are not off limits anymore. I mean, that guy was in the way in the old land that was belong that should have belonged to me. So now we gained a few titles out of that. I can now hand away some more titles that, will, that are on this. Let's see. Do I own this? No. What about you? What do you think of us? You're Polish, so that's correct. We'll just make you the... He's your heir? Why is he your heir? I don't like that. That means he probably wants to kill you. And he probably will kill you. Mm. Let me just look in my realm for someone of... Men, my culture, my religion, adults. Yes, there you go. Not in a great house. Someone with high stewardship. Why not? And they make more money and stuff, and uh, just generally, I don't know. Or, no. Someone with high marshal, so they can defend themselves. 
This random guy who is what? The Marshal of Celestia. Okay. He he's cruel, gluttonous, and all sorts of all sorts of issues, but whatever. He's the lucky guy. We have decided that he will get I don't know. Let's give him Poznan and then give him the High Chiefdom of Greater Poland. There you go. Okay. So now we're under our limit again by two this time. We've 100% sieged this kid. Unlucky. And now we are at 9 out of 10 because we just conquered this. Alright. These troops that my steward raised are probably going to get put down now if I don't declare a war. They last for one war. Whenever your steward gives you that event that some warriors will raise, like these guys, Polish warriors, you can actually keep them by just declaring another war immediately. So... What can we do to you? We have to uh, lower our main troops though, of course, because you can't declare wars when you've got your main levy raised. It's kind of like to prevent you abusing it. You can't just like stack your massive army on the border and then waltz in the second you declare war. Although these special event troops are exempt from that. So... Let's go for Vladimir Volinsky. And then conquer Lus Lutsk or whatever. And then force Vassalize. Oh, okay. mm, we could force Vassalize this kid, actually. Force Vassalization. That costs a lot more prestige, though. But we have plenty. We've got 2,600. Hmm... Mm. I'd rather conquer the county first and then maybe force vassalize this guy next to us. Maybe I should just... No, I don't need to fight my way through here. I can just force vassalize this guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I was, I was thinking of conquering my way through here yeah, just with uh, border dispute wars. But then again, this guy, I mean, he likes us, so he might as well be my vassal, right? He's going to say no, though, because we're a long religion and stuff. I mean, wrong uh, culture. Not my usually small difference in rank. <laughs> Foreign culture. Opinion of King 47, only a plus one. <laughs> Dare you. <laughs> Force vassalize him. Yep, let's do it. Let's call in. Oh, look at that. Oh yes, the, the chief of Great Poland will provide us zero men, because that's what he has, he's got zero men. Because <laughs> we just recently conquered this, so there's no, there's no levy. No, whatever. Let's just waltz in here and siege this place down. We've got an ambition to groom an heir. How old's our son? Nine. Become a paragon of virtue, we need 2,000 piety for that. Or just strengthen the Slavic religion. It's funny how actually reforming the religion does not give an immediate success of this um, ambition. Win a holy war. Or maybe complete a special opportunity. Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. Whatever, let's just say groom and heir. Or maybe not. We don't want more fertility. We don't want a, a son accidentally. And the second son. He's become indolent. Terrible. We've got a kind, just, brave guy tutoring though. Because we're not going to bother tutoring him, educating him ourselves. Although maybe we should. Our stats are ridiculous. Yeah, we'll do it. Sign Guardian. Do it. Hmm. Let's just try and become a paragon of virtue. <laughs> Alright, boys. Show this guy a small difference in rank. What that can do. Siege this down and then we'll uh, smash this guy's army up. Hopefully we'll capture a lot of people. We need to sacrifice people. Just balance the army composition. Again, just throw ourselves at these guys with some commanders in charge. And uh, my daughter needs... 
And I need some kind of focus. Now the only ones worth considering are thrift, duty, struggle. I mean these two, etiquette and humility, I mean they all lead to certain traits, depending on what you're looking for. It, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to put her on duty. Um. No, I do not drink from the skulls of my enemies, I laugh. What? Of course I do. When no one curious, uh, when one curious recruit lets slip a question about a time when I decapitated an enemy on the battlefield, I didn't even take the skull with me. Honestly, you have too much imagination, soldier. I say, patting him on the back. Uh, we're gonna just pretend that we're being deceitful. We've got a whole massive dedicated room to skulls, actually. Oh, I can. I found the guy on the battlefield. I will let everyone know of cowardice. Look, the enemy commander, High Chief Dobroslav, is hiding. Is he craven? No, he's brave. Why is he hiding? Whatever, we're gonna fight. Yeah! <laughs> Although maybe, does that invalidate our war? No, it just changes the leader. We, we still get to... We're trying to vassalize, vassalize like this realm, not that specific person. Good. I would be angry if that happened. So the guy in charge now, his wife died in the dungeons of his predecessor. Are you guys related at all? No, you're not. You've got a... Uh... This shield is usually not pagan like Slavic. This this, this is probably like an Islamic or also shield. That's, that's interesting. Did that guy get force converted or something? Hmm. Because if you look at the shields, most Christians have got this kind of a shield. Um, like that there. But then when you get to the, uh, the Muslim uh, dynasties, they've got these kind of like, shields, different shapes. These, the more far eastern, have these like circular ones. And, uh, yeah, you could have been a, um, Manichian, actually, or something. But the mystery of the shield does not concern us that much, actually. We're just gonna siege this guy down. The iconoclast faith triumphant. The bickering of fools does not concern me. Let's just sort sieges just because I can. There you go. There you go. Taught him a lesson. Lower these troops. Apparently we still got... I think that's right at the top. We've still got 800 warriors, so... Oh, what happened to your <laughs> Kiev got looted? Because he's right next to the Magyars. They are nomadic. They're Christian. They're Catholic, though. Oh. They're looting and stuff. So... Hello. Did you claim on... Doesn't matter. Force vassalization, I'm, I think. This is the fastest way to get our holy site. Let's do it. Alright, everyone. Uh oh. Throwing themselves at this. this you know, these troops here. Uh, we're just going to reinforce the troops. Yeah. Aha! I am one with the Eternal Thunder. For Poland! Blah blah blah. We basically enjoy fighting, so we're no longer depressed. <laughs> Shall we actually rename it, though? Um, Poland. Shall we uh, call it ICA? I mean, it would be ridiculous, but... Uh, what is this again? Toggle short name, right. We can get rid of the Kingdom of... Hmm... Kingdom of ICA. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll just do it because it's ridiculous. Um, our dynasty name is ICA. We're going to tick this so it doesn't say Kingdom of ICA. King 47, the whisper of the ICA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. We capture some people, good. 
sacrifice them without a second thought. There you go. So let's siege all this stuff. Smash this guy. So let's siege this. Smash these guys. I'm not capturing anyone. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's at a hundred percent then. Right. We are getting powerful. Can I s I can't force vassalize the uh kingdom. I need a claim. Come on. What is our chances? It's it's terrible. It's like an eight percent chance per year. That's not a whole like, it's not amazing. Let's see if we can invite someone with amazing diplomacy. Yeah, this guy, 45. He's Serbian. As long as he's Slavic, that's fine. We'll invite him. I'm sorry, uh, Hakon, you're, you're just not cutting it. North Germanic guy. We're gonna return to our capital. There you go, our new chancellor's arrived. Come on, do a better job at this. There you go, 20% per year. Oh, that's much better. Hello, you want some money? You want 17 gold to do what? Just build something? A statue? Monument? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say yes to it. I'm gonna see if we can invite anyone that's got a bit of money now. Now I think about it, should we go back to murdering people? People don't think we're merciless anymore. No, we always are merciless, but ruthless. That's it. The ruthless modifier is gone. Uh, we've got people who are powerful vassals now who want to be on a council. We're going to have a look. Can we fit them? Yeah, this guy's got stewardship. A duke high chief. Is, is the guy, that the guy that we just conquered? Yes, I think it is. Yeah, with his dead wife. He's got a kid though. Okay, he's our new uh, steward and that makes him very happy. Because he's a powerful vassal who's now on the council, so he feels important. We will now build a legend, sure, why not? We can make this guy a spy master. I'm not sure about that. Claire War defeated me. Wants a seat on the council. Hmm. <laughs> It would make him happy though. He'd be a loyal vassal then, I think. This guy's terrible, he's got only got nine. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there you go. The second we replaced him, can no longer fulfill his duty to search for the rumored artifact. Whatever, we don't care about that. Get out of here. Yeah, he does like us, so we're gonna just trust him to be our spy master. We're gonna stick him in Constantinople to uh, search, uh, not search, uh, steal tech. Venerable Elders, whatever. Whoever's old gets the title of Venerable Elder. There's only three of them. Commanders. Let's make our Spy Master Commander as well. That'll give us plus five opinion or so, I think. Yeah, plus five. Then make this other guy that we just conquered a Commander as well, plus five opinion. We're probably not going to use him to fight. We're just going to, you know, I'm happy. Make, oh yeah, you know, tell them they're Commanders and they're like, yeah, I feel important. I'm so important. So then, uh, this, this county, un unless, can we fight our way to this holy site? This holy site over there, we need to fabricate because it's under king. Can't, it's not really that easy. Unless, actually, wait, hang on. Unless we get enough prestige to vassalize Pomerania. And hopefully he doesn't become king. No, he needs all this down here. King, Kingdom of Pomerania. This is the du jour map mode. And then we board a dispute for Rugen. I think we'll do that. We're getting a lot of prestige per month, so... Have we got a truce with you? No. Let's just extort tribute out of him because when you win an extort tribute war you get prestige so 200 prestige right there i'm gonna make this guy a tributary i'm just gonna clear warn him 
And I'm gonna just call my vassals to... My tribal vassals to arms. I'm not even gonna bother raising my own troops. I'm just gonna stick my, uh, my dudes on them. My dudes. <laughs> Go get them, boys. Hello? Some French... Prince Bishop has showed up in my realm, trying to convert me. Uh, there are horrors to suffer in this life as well, friends. He's trying to scare me with hell and stuff. I don't think so. And you're in my dungeons. You're just another number, another statistics to my kills. We're at 40. Hi. It pains me to say, but there's a traitor in the realm. This Rotnik is plotting your downfall. I enclosed the damning evidence. This is just some silly... Um, Marshal, fetch me the traitor. Evidence, this is nonsense. This seems fishy. I, yeah, I'll just... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Whatever. It, it didn't really do anything. There's no follow-up or anything. I'll just say, whatever. You're just trying to frame some other person. And have him arrested or something. I don't really get what the purpose of that event is for the... For the, uh... Vassal. Maybe I just didn't pay enough attention. <laughs> to the outcomes. Whatever. I think... No, actually, it's it's not Intrigue Focus. I've disabled Intrigue Focus and Seduction Focus for the AI because they're annoying with it. Really, really, really annoying. You get dumb stuff happening like... Um, I mean, we, we need to find someone, actually. Um, got a lot of people in our prisons. Let's just invite some people just for the purpose of eventually killing them. <laughs> Let's invite all the people. Anyone with a bit of gold? He's got 46 gold, let's, let's spy on him. Although he's got heirs, that means we wouldn't get any money that we inherit. Whatever, let's spy on this guy. This Bun Butpa guy. Spy on him. Because the AI, they, they just spy on people, they just choose anyone. I've had instances where people that have been my friends decided to choose the intrigue focus and the AI just goes eh I'll just spy on this guy like randomly and they spied on me and they were spreading vicious rumors about me which causes a decrease in opinion and they just did that like my entire life long like what why like this it's just there's no rhyme or reason to it they just randomly choose and they get in when you've got intrigue focus and spying on someone you get an option to randomly um abduct someone and they'll just do that or they'll you get an event to randomly pay five gold to abdorm and to kill the guy and they will just say yep yeah, sure like it doesn't make any sense it's dumb so i disabled it for the ai in the uh, game rules well expose and announce this guy because he's clearly up to no good he's kind and diligent he's definitely up to no good look he's left-handed that's that's an evil omen Christian church opinion because this guy's left handed. He's, he's off the. He's, uh. Yeah, 94% in prison. Go. Okay, welcome to my dungeons. That's where you're going to be staying for the rest of your life. Let's find uh, another person to spy on. Anyone? Yes, you'll do. You're, you're a cannibal. I'm going to stop spying. You've. Gotta be a devil worshipper. You're a can. Well, no, you're a socializer as well. There's a silly event when you're socializing that you can cannibalize your uh, friends during a feast or whatever. Um, he's a cannibal. He's gluttonous. He's slothful. He's cruel. He, this guy. I'm sure he's in in bed with the devil. Is my diviner still searching for? My diviner is pretty terrible. He's got 11 entry. Come on, can we get a decent diviner in, in, in here? Please. Master seducer diviner. Hmm. This guy, look at this guy. He's patient. Oh, he's Tengri though. Oh. This guy's a dwarf. <laughs> um, they have a dwarf diviner getting people burnt to death. This guy's erudite, zealous, chaste, or chaste, and he's a mastermind theologian. This guy sounds good. Whatever, he just... From a role-playing perspective, this guy sounds like he'd be a great, um... 
Uh, the Reiner. Is he in here? Right, he's not wearing his helmet anymore, so he's... Look at this guy, actually. Gargarius, Erudite, Proud, Charitable. Court Physician. He's my Court Physician, that's right. This is percentage based, right? Apostate found, 8%. What's your... 14%, and what about my Court Physician? 26% that we can find a, uh, an apostate. Yes! Do that. There's some funkiness going on with the learning skill, though. And diviners. Um, when he tried to convert county. County religion converted, percent chance. Obviously for pagans it's very low. It's almost impossible. Well, not impossible, but just unlikely. Um... With 15 learning, it's about ideal. You get a really high percent. But then if his learning goes above 15, for some reason, the chance decreases, even though you think he's better at the job with a high learning. But I'm not sure if that's still... It's just a bug. But that still seems to happen. Unless it's just like a display bug. Whatever. All right, so we... I don't, I'm not sure how many kills do we had at the beginning. We killed quite a few people. We killed quite a few people. In battle, mostly. And uh, we are no longer depressed. We've got a whole... We, we look amazing! Like, for being a murderous guy, we, we are pretty cool. We're brave, we're kind... Okay, yes, we're deceitful. We're patient, diligent... Uh, yeah, okay, we're a master schema. Brawny, on top of being strong. He's a pretty good guy. And he's starting to look a bit older now. Uh, he looks a little bit more... Or, I don't know... Absol Absolution-ish? <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a break here. Uh, see you in the next one.